to the Clean KWAT project. Let's talk about the relationship between ecological footprints and energy. The growth of the human population and its consumption have increased the ecological burden on the planet, and natural resources are becoming insufficient to meet all of our demands. Thus, nature is becoming incapable of absorbing much of the pollution that's generated. There is a need for systemic, cross-sectional studies which can address and compare the competing demands on the planet's limited resources. Ecological footprint accounting has been used as a first approximation of the overall human pressure on Earth's ecosystems. The ecological footprint is a necessary management tool to estimate humanity's rate of consumption, the extent to which human society stays within or exceeds the regenerative capacity of the planet. Unfortunately, we as human beings have already exceeded the capacity. For more than 40 years, humanity's demand on nature has exceeded what our planet can replenish. We would need the regenerative capacity of 1.6 Earths to provide the natural resources and ecological services we currently use. To calculate the ecological footprint, six components are used based on six ecosystem services for human well-being. Plant-based food production, livestock-based food production, fish-based food production, timber production, provision of living space, and energy-related CO2 absorption. Energy production is the main component that increases the ecological footprint. To assess the relative burden of energy systems within the environment, all energy supply chains need to be taken into account based on their life cycles, including all of each system's components and across all of the categories that they affect. Used as a tool for calculation, the ecological footprint may help to determine major contributors of environmental impact as a result of energy production. It may also help in comparing the impact of energy systems like fossil fuels, renewables, and nuclear. However, it's worth mentioning that many ecological footprint calculations might be subjective in their decision criteria and seem to be influenced by different internal and external factors. It should be calculated objectively and free of bias to obtain objective results.